All right, let's take a live look outside. It's Friday, ladies and gentlemen. It's date night, and Sunday we have football. So I don't know about the weather, but all's good in my book. Uh, the O's are playing again tonight. I mean, it's a great yeah, time to be in Baltimore time, right Steve. now. But you're going to tell us about storms anyway, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. And I'm not going to be a Debbie Downer with this forecast because I think we are going to be looking at a lot of dry pockets here in the weekend forecast, including if you have a date night tonight. Uh, we will be watching out for those storms, and maybe you want to bring an umbrella for your significant other because. Uh, there could be some downpours in some spots. A live look outside, as you can see, plenty of blue sky right now. We've been watching some storms to our west and north. We've also been watching some storms to our south and to our east, but they've been all split apart around Baltimore, but not in Baltimore City itself. So we'll have to see if we can get some storms in here. We have that chance of storms here through about 11 o'clock this evening. The weekend has a lot of humidity with it, but we take the edge off the heat. The temperatures will not be in the 90s this weekend. We'll be in the upper 80s on Saturday, mid 80s on Sunday. There could be a few showers and storms late day Saturday, and then again on Sunday afternoon. A shower risk continues here through Wednesday, with I think Wednesday being the highest chance of showers and storms. And then hopefully we flush out the air mass and bring in some nice, refreshing weather here next Thursday and Friday. Severe thunderstorm watch in effect for our entire viewing area through 11 o'clock this evening. So in this watch box, what you need to do is just stay weather aware. We've had warnings up in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. We've also had severe thunderstorm warnings down to our south across parts of Virginia, Loudoun, Fairfax, and Prince William County being warned for severe storms with uh, hail the size of half dollar coins falling from the sky. So when these storms do pulse up, they can cause some damage here. So we'll watch these really closely. Right now, the only storm that's impacting our viewing area is in Carroll County, south of Westminster. A stronger storm here, not severe, but heavy downpours and some lightning strikes with this storm. 91 degrees in Baltimore right now, 90 in College Park, 87 in Annapolis, 91 in Stevensville. So plenty of heat and humidity in the air, and we'll watch these storms kind of randomly erupt. Notice certain clusters. It's not one solid line. So some of you will miss out on this rain, and the rain is much needed. I know it's on your Friday evening, but we'll watch out here because there will be lightning with these storms, so any Friday night football games will have to keep a close eye to the sky. Temperatures the low to mid 70s here tonight. It's tropical in the humidity department. 87 on your Saturday, 84 with the showers on Sunday. There will be some tropical downpours involved with all the humidity in the air. Here's our future model for tomorrow afternoon. Notice much of the action is west of Baltimore. As we move into Sunday, though, the action a little bit more scattered across most of the area. Here's Sunday morning, some light showers, but some random downpours. They don't last all that long, 15, 30 minutes, and they're out of here. But just remember, when it rains, it can pour on Sunday. So don't be surprised to get wet at the game. The key is let's keep the lightning and the severe weather out so we don't have any major delays. There is Lee. Lee is expected to continue to be a Category 4 storm and eventually weaken into a 3 off the southeast coast, but no impact to land at least through early next week. We'll watch it late next week. Your seven day forecast humidity and showers here through Tuesday and Wednesday of next week, and then more nice weather here next Thursday and Friday. Guys, over to you. All right, thank you, Steve. We'll still